Hi folks, I'm Sean McCormack and welcome to the channel. We're going to do a very short video talking about a new feature that's inside Camera Raw and put a support it inside Lightroom. We will be doing the actual using of it inside a Camera Raw though, so let's have a quick peek at this. So here I have some old files. Um, these are 8 megapixel files from a Canon 20D uh, from 2006. I particularly like the set and um, I don't get out to this particular place often and I actually did a book about this at the time and I'd really like to get out there soon um, but with lockdown I can't but anyway so I am doing some edits in relation to wildlife so I wanted to use some of these images but they're quite small so I wanted something larger to work with and fortunately Eric Chan the chief engineer or one of the chief engineers for, for Adobe who works on camera roll, and obviously stuff that goes into Lightroom has for years and he gave us like process version 4 all of this kind of stuff he's a genius and a gentleman but we had enhanced details before, which would allow us to get more detail from the demosaicing process, which I've talked about before. There's now an extension of that called Super Resolution. Super Resolution can give you a file that is four times the files by reinterpolating the information and storing it inside a DNG. Okay, so let us go and have a look inside that and see what we get from it. So I'm just going to grab just one of these images. Uh, one of them that's you know I could probably that's a little bit unsharp I don't like the angle on that one but I say that we're going to go for this one here okay so what I'm going to do is I let's say I want to do some work on it and develop first okay so obviously this is process version one these are brought back in again because they're actually missing it to uh, get them off a of backup so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a little bit of work on this to kind of have it roughly where I want it to be a um, bit of texture I think it needs some texture um, and I think that if we can bump this to we'll go for one of the vivid modes maybe here just to bring out the color. Yeah, I'm happy enough with that. And that's kind of a good start point. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go a uh, command or um, or control or and you can do this. It's the same as um, show and finder or show and explore. So I'm going to bring that up. It's more than likely going to bring it up in a different window. OK. Uh, reduce the window there and just bring that across. So this is the file here. Now before we start, I'm just going to press the I key here so we can see the size. So we can see that it is 3500 pixels long basically. Okay, so when super resolution kicks in, it will give us 7000 by um, Dublin 2346. All right, so let us uh, just go back and do that now. So I'm going to right click on this. Now it, the default is uh, Photoshop. Sometimes it gets changed with new applications installing. So just making sure and this will open inside the camera raw. And it has not read the details. So let me just cancel out of there for a second. And let me just go save. Start out with creating the XMP file. And now we're going to do exactly the same thing again. And OK, so there we have it with all the color and stuff inside it. And now we literally just right click on it and we go enhance. This will bring up the enhanced details. Now, for some reason, it's not showing the preview on this one. It doesn't matter, though. The trick here is this thing here to make sure the super resolution is turned on. And you go doubles image uh, resolution, ideal for large displays and print. And when it says double, it means it doubles it on each side. So it's actually four times the size that it was. Um, so we click enhance. It's told us it's got an estimated time of uh, five minutes. What I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to um, go back to the finder. So we we'll see the folder. And we should see the uh, DNG file appear in the folder and then we know that we can go back to Lightroom and we can uh, force uh, a sync, a synchronized folder and that will bring it in. So here we go. We can see here now that it's come up now. It's a little bit quicker than five minutes, but we can see there's a big jump in uh, the size here as well from 7.1 to 100. So obviously, you know, that's going to signify that there's a lot more resolution. So we're done here. So we just click cancel. We, we're not actually looking to do anything with that. And now if we right click on the folder, we can go synchronize folder. We can import new photo. And it will bring it in. So that will be at their current location. And because the information is still there and active, uh, we should see this new the new resolution as well. So we'll just press E to bring that up here. And we can see, like I said, 4672 by 7000. So this is actually greater resolution than I have in my current camera, uh, which is a Fuji X-T2. And we see that it has given us a lot more detail. And if we go to D for develop, uh, we can see that it's kept our settings. So if we've done the processing work, um, we can already do a lot with it. And one thing I am noticing here is that with our increased resolution, we're definitely having an issue with noise. So I would need to come in here and maybe add a bit of smoothness. 
and maybe even push up the color noise slightly. I don't mind grain and grittiness. It's never been an issue for me, maybe because I came from film and stuff like that. But uh, that's definitely better for smoothness and the noise there. So that is a look at Super Resolution. And Super Resolution is really, really good for these older files um, to get them up so that they can compete potentially uh, with modern files. And especially for things like that when you're putting stuff in for stock agency and things like that. It's very, very useful to be able to have larger files because obviously you can get more money for larger files. So folks, if you found this useful, thank you for watching. And do subscribe, do hit the notification bell, all of that kind of stuff. Uh, still trying to get to 7,000. We will get there eventually, folks, with your help. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.